Hello everyone, welcome to Trains on Tuesday. Just a little fun on the layout uh, today. We're, uh, we're going to run a train. So, uh, well, let's get into it. Now, as many of you will know, uh, a news item in 2021 has been that there is a shortage of shipping containers. And that, as you can see, has spilled over onto the Highland Valley Railway. Not one container in the intermodal terminal. Just an empty set of cars. And the owners of the uh, terminal have asked CN to get them out of there because they're going to use the downtime for maintenance on track and trains and paint lines and repair fences and do all sorts of stuff like that. So they want those cars out of there. Now the shortage of containers and uh, closed Intermodal terminals has caused some problems for CN. As you can see, the yard is, well, not full, but just enough room to work and switch trains in here. Much the same on this yard. Not much space in here. The docks are busy with grain traffic. Not much space in here. And even the Prairie Branch Line has lots of cars. Not much space here either. So what is CN gonna do with all the empty intermodal cars? double stack cars, where are they going to put them? Well, the only answer it seems is to keep the cars on the main line, keep them moving. So here we've got a single engine, and the empty double stack cars. Empty double stack cars. In behind the mountain, empty double stack cars. More and more and more empty double stack cars. And now, they've got to pick up five more. Oh well, let's get on with it. So here we go, single engine pushing 50 cars backwards. Switching. Through the turnout over there by the station. Through this turnout. And coupled. And there we go. We're now up to 55 cars. Single engine.
reminder for those of you that know this and if you're new to the channel that track there that we're running on sitting level is about three and a quarter inches higher than the yard over here where we have the engine so we're running up and down hill all the way around the layout Loco's climbing the hill tail end, way down the other end of the layout, it's still coming down the hill. Now the tail ends are going up the hill. Well, the engineers come to a stop here. It seems he forgot something. He left his lunch back at the crew room. So he's brought the train to a stop and he's calling the dispatcher to see if he can go back and get his lunch. Well, the dispatcher's in a good mood. He said, yeah, sure, sure. Nothing else on the line today. You can go back. So here we go. We got to go back and get the lunch. So here's our engine pushing 55 cars. All the way around the layout. There's the back end at the bottom of the hill. No sign of the front end yet, the engine, he's still coming up, coming up the hill through the tunnel. He's getting a little bit hungry too. Decided to speed things up a bit. So here we are back at the crew room and we can see the engineer heading in to get his lunch. Now there's a couple of cars on here, a couple of car sets that I want to talk to you about. Um, so we'll pull those into a spot where we can see them and uh, have a look. Okay, the first one are these uh, grey ones that are at the back. They're only grey because they're unpainted. These are kit. Um, these are not weighted in any way other than the weights that come with them and I got this kit partially built and whoever had been building it ran into some problems they put, uh, they put some pieces in the wrong spot there's pieces here 
the ends of each car that should have been over here, not here. And as a result, they do pitch into each other on some of the corners and derail. And he did a really good job of gluing those on there. I've got one off out of 20. Um, but it's gonna be it's gonna be tough to uh, fix that. And then of course they've got to be painted and decked. So that's one set. The other set I wanted to talk to you about are these ones, also unpainted. And the main reason these are unpainted and have been for years, it's been over 20 years since I started building these ones. Uh, main reason is I cannot find the correct paint. The trailer train yellow. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, these are about as mid-train as we can get on this on this uh, massive train I've put together here, and I want to show you just how well things run. This set of cars here are not screwed together; they're held together with pins. Take that off of there. Not only are they held together with pins, but the trucks aren't screwed on either. Mid train, forwards and backwards. Well, there we go. That was just a little bit of fun. Um, hope you enjoyed it. It's just just a little something I'd like to do once in a while. Run a great big long train. Anyway, coffee's all gone. So, uh, hope you enjoyed it and uh, see you again next week for another Trains on Tuesday. Now, in the meantime, this engineer is now late he had to go back for his lunch, so he better pick the pace up with it. Here we go. Well, just so you know, it doesn't always go perfect on the Highland Valley Railway either. And of course, it's in the tunnel. Okay, I think that'll be it for trains on Tuesday this week.